Hi, Art Rages friends and family. We're so thrilled that you're here with us today. It's Thursday. How's everyone doing? Shoot me a little message or a emoji or anything on our Facebook page to let me know how you guys are doing out there. We want to know. We want to help support you in any way we can. Um, we've got a really exciting class today. It's a drawing class with Sophia and she's got some really creative and fun things planned for you. So I hope you brought your pencils and paper and are going to draw along with her because it's going to be really fun. Before we get started, remember Art Regis Arts Community. Join us, share your work. We want to see it. You inspire us and we want to help inspire you too. So for sure, join us on Facebook, Outrageous Arts Community. Also, check out our Facebook page. It's Outrageous Show. Join us, leave your comments, tell us what you're doing. We want to hear from you. And if you've missed any of the videos that we've done over the last two weeks and three days, <laughs> um, you can find them all on our YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button and make sure that you um, are getting all the updates. And you can also see them on our website, which is outrageousexperience.com. Now, we're currently working on our website, updating it, making it really cool, adding a lot of new things, um, including our store, which is very exciting. And you can visit us there and please give us your feedback. We want to hear what you think of our new um, website and see if you feel like it represents what you saw at the show. So without further ado, I want to introduce Sophia again, and she's going to do this super fun class. Have a great time. Thank you so much, Lori. Yay. And thank you all for joining. I am super excited about this class today. It's a little out of the box. It is definitely outrageously creative. So I hope that you join along. So what we're going to be doing is based on five questions that I'm going to ask you guys. So if you have your pencil, you want to write down the answers in the top corner. So the first question is, what is your favorite shape? And for this, we have Chris, our videographer, hiding back there. And he's going to tell us his favorite shape. Circle. Circle. Excellent. So the next thing I want you to answer is, what is your favorite animal? Penguin. Penguin. Ooh. Penguin. Hey, Sophia, you know what? People can also add them in the comments as well. Yes, please add them in the comments. This is going to be a class for you guys. So if you're joining us live and you want to share your ideas, you want me to help you draw them down the road, write them in the comments. All right, Chris, what's your favorite element? Element? Uh, fire. Fire. So for those joining at home, we've got earth, air, water, fire, um, metal, you could also say. Um, shapes, just to kind of think out of the box, of course, circle, oval, star, heart, you could have a key as a shape, square, whatever you want, honeycomb. Okay, Chris, what is something you want to feel? An emotion. Uplifted, uplifted. joyful. Uplifted. Uplifted. Good. Okay. Uh, Lifted. Um, you could want to feel fast, smart, rich, powerful, happy, calm. Um, and then the last question is what is your happy place? Chris? Oh my gosh. Could be behind a drum kit maybe. Could be on stage with Outrageous. Could be... On stage with Outrageous. That's... Good answer. <laughs> Okay, on stage. Yours could be in the forest, in nature, um, in space, whatever your happy place is. So, what this activity is going to be is designing your throne. And the inspiration for this came is because a lot of us have been at home, us included, and maybe some of us aren't used to being at home all the time. So if you were to be in your own kingdom and creating your own reality, and you got to be king or queen of that place, what would, what would your throne look like? So where would you want to sit? So we're going to cover some basic drawing tools in this. 
um, talk about how to draw chairs, how to draw something in three dimension, using these super off the wall creative ideas as inspiration. So if you're following along and you've answered what your favorite shape is, this is gonna be the back of our chair. So Chris, his favorite shape is a circle. So we're gonna draw a circle. And I have this handy dandy pencil holder to trace because circles are hard to draw. So we have a circle. Now if you are at home and your favorite shape is a star, you could draw a star, triangle, upside down triangle, a diamond, whatever it is, that's where you're gonna start. So now, assuming this is the back of your chair, what we're going to do is draw an outline of the same shape just outside of that shape. And doesn't have to be very much bigger, but this is just going to tell us, okay, this is the frame of our chair. There we go. Now, we want something to sit on, obviously, given that it's a chair. So the next step is we're going to draw kind of like a rounded, ovally rectangle. So you're just going to draw a line underneath, almost the width of the chair, and then you're gonna come out a little bit, round and go over, a little bit wider than you started here, and coming back. And this is going to be your seat cushion. Now, exactly like we did on the shape up here, we're going to draw an outline. So I'm gonna make it skinny at the back, and again, make that outline a bit wider at the front. And this is going to help your chair look more three-dimensional as we develop this picture. And then from the two bottom edges, I'm just gonna draw a little line straight down and join those. And that tells me how thick my chair is. Okay, this is gonna make more sense as we go. So, the next thing is what is your favorite animal? So this is where you need to post in the comments if you want my help, like, how do I draw a tiger? Or how do I draw a giraffe or a sloth in the case of Lori? Mm -hmm. And um, I can help give you some drawing tips and pointers. So we have a penguin for Chris. Now, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do for the penguin yet, but um, we have a penguin and fire, so it's like, how about a dragon? A dragon? Yeah. Ooh, much more fun. Okay, so, not to put down penguins, but I do like dragons quite a lot. So, I'm going to look up a picture of a dragon because, hey, there's Google. And that's a wonderful thing. Okay, so I'm just going to picture a dragon and he's breathing fire, which makes it easy to incorporate the element of fire. And I'm going to draw this dragon loosely based on this. I'm not too concerned that it looks exactly like this image. And I'm going to have Dragon there. Does your dragon have horns? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so we've got some big horn sheep kind of looking horns. And I'm going to do is kind of, well, let's add a wing. I'm going to come part way down and add a wing here and bring this dragon around the chair. Okay, so I'm done with that. I just wanted a quick reference for the head and we're going to give him a mane 
and this is where things get extra creative and you can have as much fun with it as you want. So I'm going to make this dragon's tail the leg of the chair. And he needs a second wing. And of course, he needs to be breathing some fire. Okay. Now I'm going to leave this pretty simple for now and come back. So you also want to feel uplifted. So I think that's happened with the wings. <laughs> if you don't have wings on your animal, you could add wings. Um, other things that make people feel uplifted. Sunshine. Really, sunshine, yeah. So it's all about symbolism and what different things mean to you. So some universal symbols, sunshine, sunrise, rays coming out in every direction, um, feathers, you could draw a heart with wings, um, that's one of our favorites, and also you want to be on stage. So now I'm going to incorporate some creative elements about being on stage. So I think we need some instruments. And how I'm going to do that is we're going to have some fun with the legs and the arms of the chair. And I'm going to turn this into some sort of microphone. And kind of have it be the same height or level with the tail as if this is on a ground. And this is a very cartoony microphone, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's a little on off thing. And we can shade it in, but for the purpose of this class, I'm not going to shade anything too much, just for time. Okay. What's another instrument? Um, a guitar, a drumstick. Being drumstick? Nervous. Okay. So I think we're going to have a guitar be the arm of the chair. So how you want to draw the arms of your chair, they could be simple, they could be elaborate, but you want to start at these two points of the chair and we're going to come out basically at the same angle as this shape for the seat of the chair. So we're going to make it elaborate and have it be a guitar, just for funsies. So we've got the neck of the guitar and Okay, we've got a guitar, and because we need some drumsticks, this is true, we're gonna make the guitar held up by drumsticks. So we're going to draw the drumsticks, basically the support of the armchair coming straight up and down on either side there. And I'm gonna make this guitar three-dimensional by adding some depth. And erase that line. And I think we need another drumstick over here to support whatever this chair arm is going to be. Okay, another instrument. Well, if we're talking about range, it's a paintbrush. A paintbrush! It's definitely an instrument on our stage. Brilliant, okay, so gonna draw the paintbrush handle and then there's always like a metal part before the bristles begin and it's gonna be a big paintbrush because hey we do really big paintings so you need a big paintbrush to get them done that quickly and we're even gonna put some paint on the end of the paintbrush and it's going to be dripping some paint all right, and I think we need a couple more instruments because we have two more chairs back here. So two more legs. Two more legs, um, I mean. Let's see. What is other instruments? Well, there's the 
base, like base. A Steinberger shaped base, which is really weird looking. Um, on as much as much keyboard, I'm not up on my uh, <laughs> types of bases, I'm going to draw a sort of star base because, hey, that's fun. It is. More like a flying wind guitar. Yes. They're ready to rock. Okay. And keyboards. Okay, so let's going to draw. So if you notice, whatever you happen to be doing for the back legs of your chair, they're not going to come down as far as these ones and they're going to be slightly in. So that's going to tell your eye that they're further back in space and give your image some depth. And I'm going to add the black notes of the keyboard and this is a very rocking chair. I'd sit in it. All right. And we have a keyboard. Okay. So now, once you have this basic chair, you've got the back of it, the seat, the four legs, the arms, you can get as imaginative as you possibly want to with this. Um, we have some examples over here. So we have our space themed one over here where we've got the star being the shape, so that's the back of the chair. Um, blue scrub jay, very specific animal. Uh, fire, so we've got the candle down here. Uh, connected, so we've got not only two birds, but um, I had fun and drew some uh, DNA double helix as the legs of the chair. And then space is the happy place. So we have Saturn behind the whole scene. And this is to say that your happy place could be surrounding the chair. It doesn't have to be an actual element of the chair. What I love is um, images of, from Hinduism because they're super elaborate, lots of really fun, colorful imagery. So um, sitting on a lotus with a gold um, halo in water with lily pads and there's riches and vases and element or elephants and flowers so lots going on um, which is really fun kind of inspired this one so we've got elephant oval water calm forest so for calm uh, some universal symbolism is circles actually and things that are very still and not very busy um, so just some inspiration there. Of course, I find lily pads and ponds very calming, so I drew that. We have Miss Lori here. Uh, we've got triangle, so this is the triangle in the back. Sloth, I had to get pretty inventive. I'm like, how on earth am I going to incorporate a sloth into this? So I drew some tree vines and the sloth is hanging out. Uh, water, so the whole thing is on water. Um, passion. So some symbolism for passion could be blossoming flowers. Again, same sun rays as like inspiration or uplifting. Um, and nature. So we've got lots of natural elements, the lotus, the lily pads, and all of the tree and flowers there. And then we have another example of deer, or sorry, heart being the shape. Deer is the favorite animal. Earth, elated. Now that one's a tricky one, so I keep, had things bursting out in the back of the chair. And the forest, so everything's made out of a tree. Now if you are at home, you don't have pencils, you're just doodling, you might do it in pen. Also works. Um, and then just some fun examples that I found online of all wood chairs with branches, some of course royalty throne where everything's gold and really ornate. and. Game of Thrones because, you know, I had to. Love that show. Okay, so do we have any comments from our audience members? Not yet. Not yet. So if you want any help with how to draw something or, you know, some ideas for different symbols that you're trying to come up with, write them in the comments. Even if I don't get to them on this live video, I could post some examples later on. So feel free to add those comments at any time. And other than that, have super fun drawing. <laughs>
Yay, that was so fun. Oh my gosh. I can't wait until um, the next class when Chris builds this chair <laughs> and then we get to sit in it. Yes. Yeah, that should be our next class. The office revised. Yes, that will be so fun. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. We hope that you are feeling inspired to get out those pencils and paper and, and just doodle I mean mm -hmm. doesn't it make you so happy just to oh. draw and like look at your hands I know her hands They're are always like this covered in yes. graphite yes. <laughs> yeah so yeah it's so fun to just just let's see what you got let's see what your chair looks like we'd love to see it um so take care guys be healthy be vibrant and we'll see you tomorrow when we do a live interview with Dave McCray, who is the owner and um, studio director of Third Eye Studios, which is on our property out here in New Mexico. So you're not going to want to miss that. If you have any interest in how do you run sound, how do you have, train your ear, anything like that, how do you record your songs, he's the master. So yes. tune in for that at 1 o'clock and have a beautiful rest of your day. Hope you're well. Bye, guys. Bye.